Okay, we're going to do the last thing that we need to do for this chapter on set notation and Venn diagrams. So we're going to learn how to find intersections when we're not given the value. So I've got some information here. So I know that there are 62 students in the class. I know that 44 study maths, 40 study literature and 10 study neither. So you obviously can't just add them together because that's too many students. That would be 94 students. We know that there's only 62. So what I'm going to do is start with the information I do know. So what I do know is that 10 students study neither. Okay, so I'm going to put some variables in here and I'm going to put some numbers in here. So there are the 10 students that study none of them. So they belong in the everything section, but in neither of our circles. So then what I'm going to do is have a think about what I've got left over. So I know the union of these two things. Well, I've got 62 students all together, but 10 of them don't study anything. So I know that between these two circles, I have to have 52 students, but this adds up to 84. So let's talk about how we can work out exactly how many students are in each. Well, I do know that there are 44 students who study maths, but I do know that you've got to subtract the intersection from that, right? Because there's a certain number that go into both of them. Okay, and I can't count that number twice. So what I'm gonna say is that uh, this is an algebraic way I can write this, that the number of people taking maths, um, you subtract the intersection and then you put it back in. It'll become apparent why I'm doing this weird thing in a minute. Um, but I know that there are 44 people here. I'm adding and subtracting this so I still have the full thing. And I'm gonna do the same for this one. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think about how, how I would find x. So I'm gonna use these two equations. So I'm actually gonna add them together Now, you'll notice that I haven't written them out in full. So let me explain what this line looks like. I know that there are 52 students all together, so that bit's easy. Um, I can make it equal 52. But what I'm doing is I'm saying that this section here is 44 minus x, and this section here is 40 minus x, and then this section here is x, right? This is my unknown intersection. So this bit here is 44 minus whatever this is, and this bit here is 40 minus whatever this is. Um, because all together we want 40 and all together we want 44. So what I'm doing is I've written them out like this just for the sake of having an x as part of the equation because you know subtract an x, add an x, it cancels out. But when I put them together to figure out my intersection I can't count this twice because what I would be doing is saying this bit plus this bit equals 52 because that's not true is it? It's this bit plus this bit plus this bit equals 42. So that's why I've got 44 minus x plus x plus 40 minus x and together that equals 52. So this is my algebraic equation. So I'm just going to add together all the bits that match. So 44 plus 40 is 84. And then I have minus x plus x, so that's nothing. So then I just have a minus x equals 52. So then I'm left with 84 minus 52 equals x and we should be able to work out um, what that is which is just 32. Great so now I know that 32 is my intersection that's how many students take both maths and literature. So then I can go backwards from here and work out what this is this is 44 minus x so 44 minus 32 that's relatively simple it's just 12 and then this bit is 40 minus 32, which gives me 8. So if I'm not sure if I've done this right, I can add these up and I should get 62, right? So 12 plus 8 is 20, that's easy. 20 plus 32 is 52, exactly what we wanted, plus 10 is 62, and I ended up with my 62 students. So that's the algebraic way to find intersections when you're not given all the information. Um, yeah, make sure you drop me an email if you're still unclear about things or watch it again or yeah, get in touch and we'll try and figure it out. Good luck.